<laughs> I learned to play the washboard from Susie Brunson, who is from Wilmington, North Carolina, and the oldest person in the world in 1992. She was 122. In 1989, I got to play with washboard Bill Cook. He was the one that really got me fired up about the washboard. He was a great rhythm man. He lived in West Palm Beach, and we did a Celebration Express story on him. He had such great rhythm, and he had been a professional washboard player his whole life, if you can believe that. He would play back in the 1920s and 30s for the Kennedys and the Rockefellers for all their fancy parties. Here's a little rhythm jam with washboard Bill Cook. Back in the 20s and 30s, most of the vacationers came to Palm Beach by train and arrived at the West Palm Beach Depot. And if you were lucky, when you got off the train, you might have been welcomed by the world's greatest washboard player. His name is William Cook, affectionately known as Washboard Bill. Mr. Cook. Oh, just having a mosquito in the nudist camp. <laughs> you first came to West Palm Beach in 1925? That's right. And what were you doing here? Just working? Uh, yeah, I was a sold for seven dollars over in Deerfield. Me the first payday I come to West Palm. And now in the 40s you, you went up to New York and you started learning how to play the washboard. You put together a washboard. Well, I went to New York in 19, uh, 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 1932. Oh, I but I put the washboard together in 1946. And you got the idea to put two washboards together to make it different? Well, that was my idea of uh, 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 being the champ. <laughs> and, and I made it, too. Let's see what you've got on here. Two washboards. And, and, and right now I have uh, six car bells. And I have three brass cymbals. And I have an old-fashioned dinner bell. And I have an old-fashioned ship bell. This is the ship bell right That's here. Right. That's right. It's over 100 years old, and I have me a uh, 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 top hat symbol. Well, how old are you now? Oh, uh, I was 82 the 4th of July. All right, well, that's great. Now, when you came down here to play with this washboard band, you played for some of the richest families in the world. Uh, oh, who were some right. of those people? The Kennedys, uh, uh, the Kennedys and the Rockefeller, and uh, Mr. Little Roger, and. Uh, uh, and, and some friends of Miss uh, some friends of Miss uh, Gimbel's are uh, can't think of the name but anyway, Jimmy Durandy mm -hmm. and Mr. Corny Mack, and then uh, we played for the whole ball club. I bet they kept you busy, didn't oh, they? Oh, kept us busy, and all the clubs we played all the clubs, all the clubs in Palm Beach. You played with some of the best in the world. Oh, yeah. some of the best. That's right. Who? Some of the best. Well, 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 well I was on Miss Pearl Bailey's show. And, and, and her husband was beating drum for her, and, uh, and I also was on uh, Lucky Miller in the show. Harry Belafonte? And, and uh played for Harry Belafonte, and we happened to be using one of Duke's men's, and Brownie and Sonny, and uh, his whole core group. There was 19 of us on that. But I carried the rhythm. I was the leader on that. I carried the rhythm and the time. And how much did you get paid? Oh, we got $25 an hour with tips and all the trim and eats and drinks. And we used to go on. Uh, Except on West Avenue with our beach bucket, and Mr. and Miss Money, they'd be walking along there, and they'd pitch half a dollar and quarters and silver dollars in the bucket. We'd go on sometimes three and four hundred dollars just on West Avenue in front of Francis Brewster's dress shop. You've been playing the washboard for 47 years. Do you think you'll be doing it the rest of your life? Well, uh, as long as God let me, because uh, I love it, and, I, and, and as long as people love it, I want to play, because uh, I love to keep people happy. And every day of my life, I, I, I make somebody laugh. And you do That's that. That's what I've been doing for years. <laughs> Let's close this out here with uh, playing a little spoon, spoons piece with the, the washboard and the spoons. How about it? And you guys are jumping to eat with them and play with them. So let's go. <laughs> Fool. 
I think because of people like Bill Cook, we're all a little bit richer, in heart and soul. This is David Holt, out on the road with the Celebration Express. <laughs> Good God from 110th Street. <laughs>